What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Snowy Kurama, and we are back for episode number two of Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. Now, let me move the mic a little bit. Okay. Now, I tried to record this episode earlier, and it would not let me do it. It just straight up cut out on me, and I didn't know that until I was already quote unquote done with my recording session. So I had a minute 40 or so on my phone recorded and I thought I was doing it for an hour. So here I am again. I completely restarted the game because at that point, you know, we we're just dirtling around and we didn't get very far into the story. So I figured, okay, what's, what's a little bit more work to do for that? I guess if all of that makes any sense. So hopefully you guys are <laughs> still gonna be around for that, cause this is this is a big old pain. I had to completely get back some of the cards that I got. I didn't have a cure card for a while, which meant I was not getting up to this point, which is still quite a bit more than we did last episode. We could only do like five or six heartless before we died, and now we're closing in on 600 heartless defeated right now. So yeah. We also did some team changes. I have Veyr on the team now because she has magic boost. So that she can boost up our magic stat while we use spells and such. But what really sucks is we don't have Thunder anymore. We do have Blizzard. What happened? Weird. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. But now we have Blizzard. No Thunder though, but we have like sliding dash more sliding dashes than we could ever want and I got my Riku card back which gives us spirit break and that's pretty much our strongest attack so yeah it's basically all I have got to say if you guys are hyped and excited for this new episode of Dark Road press that like of course only if you like the video it really helps me out answer that question of the day which we will get into in a in a bit and let's just get into it I'm gonna go ahead and exit out this battle So, now we can press up here for our BP. Work, please, thank you. Got a couple of that, of those just kind of sitting there. We can go over to our mission, see what we unlocked just by grinding. We got 300 jewels, cool, and a bunch of shit, like 2,500 BP, Jesus. A quest key and 100 more jewels. And then over here to our album. We defeated 100 of those, gives us an HP boost, more HP boosts. I can take all the HP boosts I can get. And then last but not least, we can go over to stats, we gotta level up. So that makes us level 10. Now when I recorded the first episode, that was the first day of this game's release. And then since then, since I hadn't had time to really record or even the means to do so, I just had the game running as I was doing shit for my army training. So we got up to level 15 doing that, but since we had to restart, I've just been doing as much grinding as I could and I only got up to level 10. But that'll make things a little bit harder on me because in the episode that I tried to record earlier, it just sort of dis like we weren't taking any types of damage at all. So there's that. And that the thing that I just touched at the bottom of the screen, that's how I know if I'm recording or not. So bear with me that things stay in there. I'm not trying to start my freaking game over again. Just to make sure that we're using a good deck. Good, because as you can see, our magic stats 102, our strengths 73. So Xehanort's much more of a magic user. So I have a magical centered deck. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and switch over to Agrabah, because that's kind of where we are right now. Let's get into our mission. Notice anything weird? Yep. Where is everyone? Maybe no one ever lived here. I doubt it. Look at the buildings. Maybe living beings are restored last. So this world isn't complete yet. Were there monsters in the world you came from? Hmm, so a world is rebuilt, the residents are the final step. Until then, monsters roam as free as can be. 
Are they the Heartless the Master told us about? That's a good bet. There are two types of Heartless, right? Emblem and Pure Blood Heartless. Okay, but the Emblem Heartless existed in the future worlds projected by the Book of Prophecies a long time ago. So why are they here? Good point. Maybe it's a clue. Do you think the Heartless attacked the missing students? Possibly. But these Heartless weren't that strong. Maybe not the ones we fought. Now I'm really worried about the others. Let's try to gather more information. We'll head back once we find something. Gotta turn off the auto. I completely forgot that that gives us to and I just boosted. Ugh. I hate, I hate that I got boosting freaking spells, because those are useless to me. Like, Zay- uh, not Xehanort, um... Freaking Vare and Ericus already boost my stats, I don't need to do it myself. So stupid. But anyway, question of the day is... Okay, actually, we'll get into this first. We'll smack this boy up. Okay, we did it. Dope. <laughs> Dope. Time to get into this one now. Boom. What? Okay, that was it. <laughs> that was it. Jesus, okay. I'm fine with that. Anyway, question of the day. What is your favorite... Who is your favorite Kingdom Hearts character in the series? Now, at the beginning... Me, just like probably damn near everybody else would have said Sora, but as time went on, it definitely became Riku. Riku has the most development in any character in the series, and you know, at first he's an asshole, but he kind of has to be in order to uh, get a redemption arc that he got in Kingdom Hearts 2, on up, Dream Drop Distance, yada yada yada, so on and so forth. Him and Roxas definitely take it from me, because Roxas, he's introduced just like, who the hell is this kid, or Sora? Why am I playing as him? And then you learn more about his tragic backstory, and uh, it adds a lot of depth to the character. And it's a lot easier to um, kind of resonate with that and get interested in that than just happy-go-lucky Sora wandering around in the Disney worlds. So you see, our main mission is to defeat 50 boys in Agrabah. I'm gonna look at our missions first because it looks like we got some more stuff. We got 300 more gems, cool. And now we just kind of fight in Agrabah. So I'll go a little bit more into my question of the day. Turn off auto. Get into a little bit more of the question of the day as I'm doing this. I don't think there is much else to really say. I think I covered basically everything that I wanted to discover. So yeah, put that down in the comments section. Who is your favorite Kingdom Hearts character? I would love, love, love to see what you guys have to say about that. Very, very interested to see how our little community here kind of feels about the characters. And even if you don't have a favorite Kingdom Hearts character, but who looks the coolest? I don't know, man. <laughs> like, Oh, I hate having that attack boost. I, I want to get more cards so I can cycle out Genie and the Wizard, because I don't need to synergize myself if my team does it for me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, connection error. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are again. And, uh, speaking of being right back... I don't even remember what the hell it was I was going to say. I just completely got cut off by what I said. And here I am, boosting again. God damn it. Anyway, I'll see you after I smack up these heartless boys. And that's that, I believe. Yep, we got 50 of them. Really, really cool. What's next? I think we'll check our album first. Get some more boosts, like a HP boost. 
Grab our BP. Okay, nothing, nothing else. On to the next one. Oh, this big boy. You see, the thing about this big boy is that he was easy as dick at level 15, but now it looks like his attacks are actually hitting me for damage, which isn't the funnest. That is not the best in the slightest. And now we gotta tap. Rapid tap. I think we're gonna be okay. If I'm being completely honest. As long as we keep healing ourselves up, we'll be uh we'll be good. He's almost dead actually. I haven't even looked at him. This should do it, right? Yep. There we go. I just love how our teammates boost us up. See? See what? I told you there were stronger Heartless around. What? You call that strong? Yeah, I do. But we handled them just fine. We did, but the missing wielders were all on their own. What would you do? If what? If you were alone and came across those monsters. Run! Fight. Exactly. Some would run and some would fight. So even if they were alone when they encountered some of these Heartless, I doubt that these monsters are the reason why they all disappeared. Good point. But what if there's even stronger monsters out there? Ones you can't run from. Come on, seriously? You never know. Then I'd run faster than I ever have before. Of course you would. It's weird seeing Xehanort all chummy and happy and friendly with people. And we gotta do the same goddamn thing in Wonderland. There's something in the album. I don't know what. Oh, this guy, of course. More HP. I'll always take more HP. I do think it's odd to see... What's his name? Ericus in a... Happy-go-lucky type of atmosphere, because, you know, in the games, he is always this stern master who is always trying to defend light and blah, 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 be really cool in that regard, but he's definitely much more carefree here, and you could probably say that for any adult that be just grows up and such, but I feel like the Ericus that we know would uh, still kind of carry that little edge about him lack of better term to you know he's still a little he'd still be a little silly I feel like unless whatever happened in this game really really just uh, messed him up <laughs> it's also cool to see that we're playing as the Riku character type you know the the darker more calm collected guy rather than the happy-go-lucky let's just do whatever the fuck we want guy that we're so used to with Sora. It's just a little kind of refreshing. And you know, I resonate more with those uh, calm, quiet characters. So that's cool for me too. But I guess I'll see you guys once we're done with these bad boys. We just got like a couple, like 30 plus to go. So yeah, it is a little more difficult because in my other, my other save, not only was I like five levels higher, but I had lots of magic based uh, card combinations. I need to figure out what those are called. I keep wanting to call them slights because of Chain of Memories, that's what they were called. I guess that's what they'll be, they'll be slights. It's the same concept. So yeah, we had more magic based slights and now I have magic and boost and freaking attack boost clogging up my deck as well as these more physically physical attacking slights rather than having blizzard and thunder and other things like that now I really just have blizzard 
it's really annoying when you're a special attacker and you have a bunch of physical moves. As a Pokemon player, I can uh, <laughs> I can definitely attest to how annoying that is because there are some Mons that have a great special stat but they don't get any special moves and then vice versa. Like Tauros, for the longest time, didn't get any type of moves but his physical attack was great. Oh, he had a bunch of special moves because, you know, normal types in Gen 1. And then, uh, Den Dendene, or Dedene, I don't remember how to say his name right now. But that thing has a great physical... No, I think he has a great special attack, but barely any physical moves, I think, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm done talking your ears off. I'll meet you back up when we get through this other half of Heartless. And we're back. I exited the battle early because I was really confused when I was battling. I noticed that I did not have my Riku card that I kept talking about. And it turns out that the battle optimization setting for the magic or more magical attack or whatever have you. You know, you sort them, you get optimized and stuff. And it wanted me to use all my boosting slights over the Riku slight, which is arguably my most powerful one besides Blizzard because of my stats. So I just had to go in there, manually change it. I got rid of both Genie and Wizard because I feel like I should not be boosting myself in this game. I should just let my allies do that while I just focus on being the beater. So yeah, I did that. Looks like we have something else we can do though. Okay, so how many of these guys we gotta beat up? We gotta beat up six of these bad boys. Does not sound hard. I shouldn't have used Riku in the slight. <laughs> we just, there we go. See, look at that. My freaking deck wanted me to forego that. It's so stupid. Just goes to show you cannot trust technology at all t at every freaking turn. That's exactly how you end up having to have to re-record something after you thought you spent a whole hour of recording. But it turns out you only recorded for four fucking minutes total. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's the that's the mission. We're just cruising through now that we actually know how to play this game. Defeat 100 enemies in Agarba. Oh my goodness. We got an HP up. It's freaking wonderful. Do we have a level? No. Okay, well, I guess I'll get back at you as soon as we get through all 100 of these fucking goddamn things. No, I will just say as we watch the gameplay itself here, I was always, I was kind of confused when I was recording last episode, or the, the first try of this episode, I should say. How it is these guys know about Emblem Heartless and all of that? I don't think they know how it came into creation, but did from what we know, or at least what we did know before all of Nemora's retconning and stuff. Son of his retconning is so stupid. I can talk about that next time though, because we already had our question of the day. But didn't Xehanort invent the Emblem Heartless as a Apprentice Ansem? How in the hell are is he fighting them here and now? Nothing really makes much sense. It might have made more sense if I played uh, Union Cross more and actually paid attention to how that game works, but there's just so much filler in that game. Like, here in Agrabah, you spend probably a good it, it, lots and lots of time, like weeks and weeks in Agrabah, just doing stupid, dumb missions that do nothing for you for the story. So I just sort of converted, or resorted, I guess that's the better word to say. I don't know why I say converted. But I sort of resorted to watching the cutscenes on YouTube because it's a lot easier than just playing the game myself. And uh, all the story is just chopped up in one bit. So, yeah. Thought over. I'll see you back when we get through 80 more of these things. And there we go. That's 100. Mission 12 unlocked, or 
done, whatever. Got some more BP, we have an album thing to look at. More HP. Love to see it. Do we have a level up? Damn it. I want a level up. <laughs> All right, what's next? We just got four of these bad boys to get rid of. Can do. Get out of here, boys. The lag, what's happening? All right, the last baddie. That did nothing, because it turns out I've been reading Riku's attack wrong this whole time. It's not spirit break, it's spark break. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> and there we go. Too bad we don't get shit for BP. It'd be nice. Six more enemies to defeat. The more I play this game, the more it all seems like it's the same thing, just... Again. Basically, the gameplay is just... Do this. Which, it's... Cool in a way that the cards do different things? But, I mean... What the hell is stopping you from putting your phone down to go do something else? Keeping the damn thing on auto. Because I got to the point when I was doing my training and having this phone just on the side is I would just have it there and I'd go through like a thousand Heartless by the time I check my phone again after a couple of hours of just having it sit there. <laughs> I'm not smacking the game too much. I've always wanted to see this story about Xehanort. I'll continue this thought after this. You're back already? We just got here. Bet you got scared and ran. That's your ammo! Huh? I'm glad everyone's okay. We ran into some Heartless. So did we. But no sign of any actual people. Same here. Were the Heartless strong? Yeah. I hate to say it, but I'm not sure even an upperclassman could have taken them on alone. What now? Should we report our findings to the Master? No way. Huh? I agree. Let's not. So what do we do? This mission is pretty dangerous, you know. We're Keyblade wielders, right? We see a Heartless, we take it down. We can't just run when things get rough. The Master taught us all about the Heartless. And how much of a threat they pose. The students who went missing knew what they might face and undoubtedly prepared it for it. So what about us? Can't we do the same? Don't we have the same determination and drive? We do, and you're right. But if any of you feel like you're in real danger, run. Don't turn around. Don't wait for the others. Run like the wind. Argus. He's got a point. When it comes to running away from something like a bear, you don't have to outrun the bear. You just have to outrun the person that's behind you. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not false. Let's try to find a solid lead this time. I need to work on my urd. It's not good. Not good at all. Should we change groups? Nope, we're staying with Vare. I like my setup. Alright, round two. Just so I know, you weren't you weren't joking about running from danger, right? Ah, come on, Vare. Running away is what Ericus does best. It's fucked up. It's kinda fucked up. Be safe. We'll meet back here soon. Ba boom. I wanna see these guys freaking gliders sometime. Oh, I should've used 
the other thing. But that's fine. Just got four of these boys to take down, and they seem to be going down in one shot. Just kidding, I guess not. The big bad. The plant seems to be the most beefy. It's also level 10, which is the same level we are, so this is gonna... This just might be rough. I don't need to heal yet, luckily, so... But we do need to reload our deck! Perfect. Come on, I'm waiting for other blue cards. There we go. And we reload again. We're gonna need to heal soon. Luckily we got many. I wish my freaking magic attacks would do more. That would be wonderful. Alright, after this last reload we should be okay. Why won't you freaking die? There we go. I was hoping that we wouldn't have to redo that because we were running low on HP. That was not good. We got rank two in Agraba, which we got that last time as well. Defeat 100 enemies again. Good Lord. But anyway, as I said, I was trying to say, we got rank up last time as well. We're not leveling up worth shit. What is happening? Why not? <laughs> Everything keeps getting stronger and stronger. We're not leveling up at all. But this rank 2 makes the Heartless stronger and gives us more BP per fight. So that's really cool. At level 15, I could kind of handle it, but not as well as level 1, of course. So I'm not even going to try level 2 right now. We're just going to go ahead and fight these 100 enemies and then get back to you. See ya after this. Okay, so while doing this, I kind of underestimated just how long that this would take. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off here. In the next episode, I'll be 100 Heartless down and hopefully a little bit stronger after uh, having, you know, autoplay do its thing. So the next episode will be getting on to the next mission. Hopefully, I think we're just about done with the story. I don't remember what mission we're on. I want to say it's 11 or so. So I think we are about halfway through. I think the game is up to mission number 20 as far as the story goes. I might come in with another episode after that just to kind of show off some events and whatnot in the game. Because there's lots of things that you can do here while you're waiting for the story mission. And uh, you know, it would be cool to explore that. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you have not already and you liked the video. Definitely helps me out. Pretty sure to answer that comment question of the day. Which is who is your favorite Kingdom Hearts character. And if you don't have one you know who, who looks the coolest or something. I don't know just write down the name I guess. <laughs> Oh man, subscribe if you have not already and you want some more of that snowy Kurama goodness. Tickle that bell so you know when the hell it is I'm uploading with your next video and whatnot. And with all that being said and more, this has been your boy, Snowy Kurama. See you in the next video. Uh, goodbye.